Welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Video Series. My name is Matthew Karnowski. Today, we're going to cover the topic of how to support multi-tenancy on a software-defined application delivery platform. When planning out the deployment of your Avi controller, there are different tenancy options available. There are options to provide tenant isolations for the control plane, as well as the data plane. Let's start with control plane tenancy. A user can be configured with a specific role for one or multiple tenants. A user without any privileges within a tenant will not have visibility into that tenant or any of the resources deployed within that tenant. In the example on the slide, user 1 has privileges into both tenant A and tenant B, whereas user 2 only has access to tenant B. This is an example of control plane tenancy. Now let's take a look at data plane tenancy. There are two different modes of deployment for the data plane. Provider mode, which is where we can share service engines across all tenants. And then tenant mode is where service engines are scoped only to a specific tenant. Let's move over to my controller to see what this looks like. Here I am logged into my controller as an admin user. My controller is configured with provider mode for the data plane, which means the service engines are gonna be shared across the different tenants. I'm also going to show what the control plane tenancy can look like. So you see I have two service engines, dot zero and dot one. As the admin user, I have global access into all objects. I'm gonna to switch to a view of all tenants and I'm going to go look at our applications. So you'll see I have the four virtual services that were in the slide examples and they're in multiple tenants. So billing and finance are in tenant B, DNS and IT is in tenant A. And now as I log in the different users, we're, we're gonna have different views into these um, virtual services and their tenants. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to log in as user one. User one has access into both tenant A and tenant B. So as I log in as user, it drops me initially to tenant A, and I see the tenant A virtual services, DNS and IT. Because this user has access to the other tenants, I'm going to drop, I have the ability to select another tenant. I'm going to tenant B. I have visibility into tenant B's virtual services. I also, because this is provider mode, have access and view to the same service engines, dot zero and dot one. Now let's log in as user two. Now user two only has access into tenant B. So as I log in, it drops me into tenant B and I have access to see those two virtual services, billing and finance. If I try to select another tenant, nothing's available and I'm not allowed. Now, take a look at service engines. I do see the same service engines too, dot zero and dot one. This is an example of how the control plane tenancy can apply where users have different views. As, and then the provider mode where we see that service engines across all the different tenants and are shared. Now, let's take a look at what tenant mode tenancy for the data plane would look like. So here I've reconfigured my controller to use tenancy isolation for the service engines. Currently, I'm on the admin tenant. As I move to throughout the tenants, I'm, lo I'm logged in as admin users, so I have global privileges to everything. I move to tenant A, I can see I have a service engine here, this dot zero. If I look at my applications, I have the DNS VS and ITVS, and I'll just expand this out, and you can see they're both using dot zero as their service engine. So the, the data plane resource, the service engine within tenant A is being used by the applications, the virtual services within tenant A. Now let me move to tenant B. So back on service, in, service engines, tenant B has a service engine. You see it's dot one. Again, with the applications, I have my two applications, billing and finance, and they are both using dot one. So as you can see, I have multiple data plane resources, dot zero and dot one, but they are scoped to the individual service engines, or excuse me, individual tenants. Now, how did I how did I configure this? How did I get this set up? Let's go to my admin tenant. I'll show you how I, this was configured. When deploying your service engine, uh, your controller, you can configure your tenancy options. So in here, I have tenancy mode, and I've configured this as tenant context. So you can see within the, the configuration, you can see service engines are managed within the tenant context, which would, which is what I have now. And then if I didn't, if I select this other one, which is the default, there's a provider context where it's shared across the tenants. And that is how to support multi-tenancy on a software-defined application delivery platform. Thank you for watching. Please check out other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series.